What's going on guys? My name is Suboptimal and I make suboptimal content. In this video, I want to go over Task Overflow, a Kanban board productivity app that I thought could reach the moon, but is going to crash and burn. First, I'll give you guys an actual demo of the app. Then I'll talk about the tech stack I use to build it. And finally, and most importantly, I'll go over why task overflow is a really bad startup idea. And before we get started, I'm just going to ask for one small favor from you guys, and that is to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing for more suboptimal content. Cool. With that out of the way, let's get started. So let's just take a look at some of its features. Right now you can't really add tasks, but I'm sure it's not too difficult to implement that feature. Um, you can move them around. So you'll notice here that as I'm selecting and moving a task, other task uh, right around it is going to get moved automatically. And you can also uh, move tasks between different columns. So I can, you know, move this to the to-do section and the UI is going to be changing automatically. But at the end of the day, this is basically just a Trello clone. The real important thing here is the React Beautiful Drag and Drop library. Now, I was going to make a tutorial about this library itself, how you can use it to create any sort of draggable UI like Trello. Point is, there's a way better tutorial than I could ever make. Uh, created by the creator of this library, Alex, a full free course on how to use this library. So. I highly suggest you check it out. It's on egghead.io. I'm not affiliated with them or anything. Now let's get into the fun part of the talk where I roast my own startup idea and why it is exactly so bad. There's obviously a lot of factors as to what makes a simple Trello clone a bad idea, but two things really came into mind when I was thinking about whether or not I should actually continue with task overflow and build it out as a full on feature and start selling it. So the two things that came to mind is that I don't have the first mover's advantage and that it's not 10x better than the other products out there. So what do I mean by these two things? Well, let's take a look. So first movers advantage is this idea that if you are first to building a specific type of app, then it doesn't have to be that great. As long as you know, it works, you're going to do well. So for example, just think about games when iPhone first came out, right? You have things like Angry Birds, you got like uh, Fruit Ninja, right? You got like very simple games that aren't too complex and you don't really need to innovate that much uh, at the point when it first comes out. This happens in a lot of areas and a lot of industries. So if you think about like Evernote, it's just a simple little markdown app that's on the cloud, but pe a lot of people use it. it it's, a, it's a huge company. There's like hundreds of employees working for Evernote. A uh, similar thing with Trello, it's just a simple little Kanban board app. When you join a new space early, it's okay because you're first, because there's no one else competing with you, you'll get a lot of users. But now it's very competitive, right? Now there's things like Notion, there's Monday.com, there's Asana, there's a ton of different productivity apps that people can choose from. So I obviously don't have that first mover's advantage. So creating a yet another like Trello clone, yet another Kanban board app, is not really a good idea. At the same time, you can do that. You can make yet another productivity app and you can do that if it meets the second requirement. And that second requirement is that it's 10 X better than the previous product out there. So for example, there's some apps out there like notion and obsidian, right? These are really like so much better than things like Trello or things like Evernote, the way they structure their blocks and how it can be infinitely recursive is taking Trello's like simple Kanban board uh, ability and taking it to the next level. Now, is it 10 X better? I don't know about that. I would definitely say it's uh, three to five X better. And that is a point where people would be willing to switch from Trello to notion. They'd be willing to switch from Evernote to obsidian and think about it from like a game's perspective, right? It's very easy to see right like nowadays you can play fortnite on you know, on your iphone now you can play pokemon go you can play like entire like you can play call of duty on your iphone these games are 10x better like maybe even like 20 30x better than the games you would have gotten uh, back when the ios first came out these are the two ways you can really innovate and i felt like 
task overflow was not doing either of them. It was not an early mover. In fact, it is such a late mover, like creating another Kanban board app is like, the last thing you want to do. I honestly don't know why I didn't think about this while I was coding the app in the first place, but anyway, so it's not a first mover, so there's no advantage there. And secondly, it's not 10x better than any other Kanban board app out there, right? There's no reason for you to switch from Trello to using my Kanban board app unless you just want to like support me or something, right? There's no other reason to use it. Basically, me building another Kanban board app was not the way to go. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys can see that what I did is a bad idea. You know, do it for the learning purpose. It's obviously really awesome to do drag and drop functionality considering so many billion dollar companies are using the same functionality. Being able to use it and implement it into just your to-do list, right, is going to be valuable to know. In terms of building a feasible startup, I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button because that really does help me out. And uh, consider subscribing for more suboptimal content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.